Ben Simmons has reportedly told the 76ers he will not play for them ever again. Sixers coach Doc Rivers says the team will try to change Simmons' mind. But that may be just the play to drive the price for Simmons up from where it is now. Wilbon, should your Northwestern boy, Sixers GM Daryl Morey, yeah. lower his asking price and end this drama? Well, I, I'm not going to tell Daryl to lower his asking price. You get what you get. If, you can, if it can be driven up and you can get that, get, get it. Good. I mean, you know, he knows, Daryl knows how to negotiate deals. Um, and, but, Tony, I will say this. I think they have to deal him. I think they have to trade him. I mean, not only does he, we haven't heard his voice issue this demand. It's sourcing and there's news reporting and it's reporting that is certainly accurate. I would, I would deal him. And, and Tony, I just don't think he can exist in Philly when we go back to talking about cities where they will boo you. Cities where they'll take one look at you if they think you are not up to, to, to their level of, of, of play, of the standard, they'll, they'll boo you. They'll run you out of Philadelphia. I don't think this is good for Ben Simmons. I think Ben Simmons has a future, a big future still potentially. I think he can pursue that in many other cities. And I think the Philadelphia can probably get back, I don't know, at least 90 cents on the dollar. But I don't think Philadelphia is that place, do you? No, I don't. I think he is now better served by a change of scenery in the way that Markel Fultz was better served leaving Philadelphia and getting a change of scenery. I believe that Joel Embiid does not believe in Ben Simmons. I believe Doc Rivers does not believe in Ben Simmons. And I expect him to be traded. And now I will discuss where. And I don't know what the price is. Maybe, maybe you can't make a deal with Portland. Maybe Portland won't give up Damian Lillard for Ben Simmons. But I'm going to go local, Mike. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why the Washington Wizards should give up Bradley Beal Ooh, for, Bradley for Ben Beal. Simmons. Should give up wow. Bradley Beal. I'm going to tell you why okay. right now. Because with Bradley Beal and John Wall, they never won anything. And with Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook, they didn't win anything. Right. And with Bradley Beal alone, they're not going to win anything. This guy, Ben Simmons, is a much better defender than Bradley Beal. He's a much better rebounder. He's a much better passer and will integrate more people on the team. And they will be happier. This is a trade that benefits both teams because, Mike, if Bradley Beal goes to the Sixers, they can win a title. He's what they need. And Ben Simmons is what 10 guys as rotational players need here, and if he's a better player with a change of scenery, he'll close out the game. Well, Tony, I've got the same team. I, I've got the Wizards. The Wizards have done, Tommy Shepard, done such a good job over the summer, really the last two summers plus drafts. The Wizards are two quality players deep at every position. The Wizards have between, I don't know, at least 10, maybe 11th or 12th. They got players. And so Philadelphia needs players now. Because they, they're close. They got Joel Embiid. They're paying him big time. They, they, they can't just say, oh, like Sam Presti, give me draft picks forever and a day. And we'll tr no, no, no. The process cannot restart now. I agree with you about the Wizards being the major partner. Maybe there has to be a three-teamer in there, a third team in there. But, wow, I wasn't thinking Bradley Beal. I just think, Tony, Straight Simmons up. has to Straight go up. because I don't think this can work for him in Philadelphia. I don't wish that on him. I don't yep. wish the booing on him. I, I, I wish that he could no. get a fresh start and, and excel. Make the straight up deal. Else. Both wow. teams benefit. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN.